All right. I'm taking a break from talking about animation and video games to talk about the paranormal. Why do I have the light on like this? It's not a black light. It's the full spectrum light. Reason why is because I've been doing a lot of paranormal investigations and I've come to the conclusion that I'm most likely haunted. Before I get into that, though, I want to get into other people's investigations. But before I do that, I'm going to turn off this monitor so I can have complete darkness. Except for my light there. Alright, so. This is going to be my paranormal archives, number one. This time, I decided I'm going to cover some things from Ghost Adventures. I've seen a lot of shows, and I know the differences between each show. And Ghost Adventures, I'd have to say, is the most hyped. A lot of the time, on Ghost Adventures, the guys have a camera up like this. Wow, this is like... A spooky place and this is really scary and stuff might happen around my face cuz oh my god what's that okay I don't mean to poke fun guys but I have noticed a lot of the times Aaron Get so spooked sometimes it almost seems faked. The whole <gasps> I mean it's it's like almost every time. It, after nine seasons of this guys, I I thought you'd be expecting it by now. But I do have to say on the other side end of it, it does add more dramatic effect to the show. We know your guys are capturing something. But enough of the critiquing. There's a few instances which I felt to be very strong points, and some I have a little uh, um, insight on. Like, Oh, I really wish I had the EVP. I just heard a uh, tap sound. But usually, around my apartment, we've been hearing a tap like this. And it's always, almost always on the doors. At first I thought it was my children, because it was at a child's height. But I opened the door and no one's there. They're not even upstairs. And I keep hearing it when I'm alone. So, it's always on doors, too. I actually caught it on EVP. Which I will now play since I'm on the subject. but you could hear a very clear tap. And I swear to God, when I was performing this, I walked by the boys' room. The door was open. I'm pretty sure I had it closed, but I couldn't be 100% certain. But I felt something in the room, like there was someone there. So I ran back to my room, grabbed the EVP, came back, recorded it, and I asked, is there someone in here? And right at that, got a tap to the left. Just a tap. You could tell by my voice that I was extremely surprised that that happened. And it was like right by my the side of my face as well, so it was very surprising. Um... So, anyway, 
there's this one instance in Ghost Adventures that you guys, and I'm saying you guys because I'm talking to Zach and his team, as if they watch my blog. But the there's that scene in the documentary with the brick flying across the screen. When I saw that the first time, it almost, almost looked to me like it was being pulled by a string. And that's what I thought it was, because they walked around the corner, there it goes, timed reaction, oh my god! Is that you making all the noise? Holy And they ran. Ran out of the building, I might add. However, on their revisit, I noticed something quite strange. They actually walked into the room, and when they turn, there's the room. I mean, there's like this opening that they're looking through, and then there's the rest of the room. There was very, very, very little room in that small room in the basement for anybody to be pulling the string and not get caught on their camera. So, unless they rigged something through the wall, I don't see a way that they could have pulled that brick and have it fly like that. So with that, it's very, I went on a side note, or PS, side note. In order to get a rock to fly across the room like that, it would have had to been a ster or a brick. It would have to have been a styrofoam brick. So it would have had to have been rigged and planned out beforehand. But now I don't think that was fate in that way. It remains unexplained to me as well because I can't think of any other physical way to throw a brick through the sky like that and have the beams in the background spin like they did. Now, adding more insight to another revisit case, um, first of all, I find it very odd to have a expert EVP specialist. But the uh, EVP couple that kept getting the EVPs about the spirits calling out Zack, Nick, and Aaron. There's this one particular EVP that I think they only got half of it. Because you guys and Ghost Hunters and... Um, uh, the Han Collector, a lot of these people are talking about how it takes a lot of energy for these spirits to communicate. And not only that, but what we're hearing as whispers could be screams. It's just that they don't have enough energy to actually vocalize. And there's this one EVP that says, Nick, or Zach, Nick, they're coming, scaring me. Now, there, there's breaks between the words. So, if you fill in the blanks, I think what it's fully saying is, Nick, Aaron, Zach, they're coming, not scaring me. Because I... I have to be honest with you guys. I love your show, I love what you do, and I love what you get. But, you guys don't give them any reason to be scared. You just come and you mouth off at them. It's pretty much the same thing as them mouthing off to you and the EVPs. They can't hurt you, and you can't hurt them. To an extent that they can't hurt you. But the, th the thing is, you both are on even ground. It's like, you, you call them out, they tell you to get out. They swear at you. They 
tell you that you're going to they're going to eat your souls. There are some exceptions like Bobby Mackey's, which I do admit there's something going on there. I kind of want to investigate it. Yes, Zach. I want to put your mind at ease. And the whole confusion between the Incubus and the Succubus is not your fault. Alright? I'm not saying it's easy to get the two confused. I'm saying that the guy that you were talking to got them confused. Because when you were talking and he was brought you into the uh, room that he slept in, he said, this is where the Incubus attacks. This is where the Incubus comes in and tries to have sex with you when you're sleeping. Indicating his room. Indicating that the Incubus came to get him. That's where you got your confusion in, uh, from what I could have seen. Because you got it right before... Then he mentioned Incubus and his room and his bed. You just got switched around like he did. So, don't worry about that. I chuckled a little bit. I went, <laughs> but I knew why you were doing, saying that. Why am I doing this? This whole setup? It has been kind of proven to me that when you talk about stuff like this, you set up the area for some sort of energy. I mean, Paranormal State did that. can't remember which episode. It was the first season. But it was that whole ceremony where it's like you tell a story and you blow out a light. And the whole idea is that it would start getting dimmer and dimmer. And when all the lights are out, it's said that spirits are... Uh, around you. Now, I do have an experience with that. It's called the Ouija boards. You're trying to talk to spirits. You're gathering spirits to you. Um, regardless if it's a spirit you want or not. When you talk about this kind of stuff. It, it doesn't get creepy just because you're talking about it. But spirits are actually gathering around. If right now it feels a little awkward in this room. Like something's kind of like in that corner. Which I'm going to turn camera back on. That but I'm not seeing like the full lights here. The top and the bottom, to my eyes, I can't see. But here, we can see everything. Alright, just for the record, this right here is my shadow. You can see how my shadow is fractured like that because of the multiple lights. From what I can tell, an actual ghost shadow would only be one shade. Only one shape. What has happened to me before? We were living in a different apartment and I got this all right, first of all, something keeps climbing into my bed. And I'm pretty sure it's both male and female, like not at the same time. But both genders have been visiting me. How can I tell? Use your imagination. So. I decide it's about time that I try to get something on video. That was a beep from my computer. 
So what I decided to do is while I was sleeping set up my webcam and w while I was setting up I saw in the hallway this white figure again I might add so I decided to document that but couldn't see it on the webcam so I laid down I already started feeling something walking towards me and at like a few minutes in something sat on the bed by my legs and I motioned to be behind me without saying a word so that I know on the when I reviewed the, the footage that something was there at that time but when I reviewed it right before I got this Now, I cannot say that it's not a fly, but I can say it's not dust. And this is why I think you sh we should have, like, video of dust and random insects flying by the screen. So that we can definitely tell. And that was me playing with the cap. Definitely tell if it's a fly, dust, or something else. But I've never seen flies move like that before. Just in an arc, and coincidentally going to where I felt the thing on my uh, legs. But the big problem is I absolutely did not feel it like that. I felt it going through. So uh, I don't think it formed into a little orb and flew by like a couple people are saying that that is what's happening. It might have just been a glance that we caught like a, like a light glimmering off of it like bugs. There's something else I want to point out. Now, there was a lot of bird noises going on during my video capture. Now, the thing is, it's the same cam as this. Just listen for a moment. Just listen. My computer is making grinding noises, but it was not making grinding noises as frequently and as ferociously as the noises you hear in that vid. And ever since, that was like the first time that in any of my vids, that you could see, or I mean that you can hear, a lot of noise going on. It almost sounded like chatter. Another thing. We we're doing an investigation in this house. In fact, a couple of the uh, instances I want to point out is in this room. And I have not fully gone through all the footage yet. But, came across a couple weird things. Like we had one of those uh, meters that detect uh, the uh, electronic waves. I was sitting on my bed. And I have some footage of it too. 
I even tried documenting it. But sitting on the bed and I placed the reader right next to me while I was talking. And I wasn't really paying any mind to it. And I get a baseline. And I'm check I kept checking on it and it fluctuates just a little bit. But I noticed at one point it was high. And so I started talking. I'm like, oh hi, how are you? And then after a while, I checked back and went down a by a lot. And so it, it seems to me that someone was sitting either with me or in my lap. And the last thing to found to be kind of weird was I was on my bed talking and My brother Jeff walks in. So I said, yeah, this is my brother Jeff. He's okay. Just don't do anything kinky. And I hear my brother saying, Did someone just say what's in the what's the fun in that? And I thought, of course that'd be the uh, generic response. And then he continued talking for the spirits. When I looked back on the footage, I looked at the one particular area because I wanted to see if someone was talking. And right when I said that, in the space between after I had said what I said, then my brother saying what he said, There was a noise. You can still lay down with me if you want, just don't get kinky. Uh, is someone gonna say what's the fun in that? Almost sound like a murmur. But it also could have been the chair squeaking. However, it was in the motion of or the rhythm of what's the fun in that. I haven't been able to hear it precisely, but he did have the look of confusion on his face. Like someone just spoke? All the times that he spoke for the spirit after that? He was just in the dull state. This. This is what the spirit said. Yep. So I think the first time he heard said he heard something was actually legitimate. So on the conclusion of that. I will pick up the last segment of the Pokemon after some time after this. I'm still working on a few things that I want to do. So it's going to be a little while yet, so just enjoy not me or whatever you want. Go watch some Lady Gaga, I guess. Alright, so until we meet again.